The 1990s were a magical time for Honda and Acura everything from the mighty NSX to the lowly Civic was a Vulcan mind meld of man and machine during these golden years so far in the 21st century, though, Honda seems to have lost its ability to imbue every single model with that kind of allure, and in the court of fandom there is no greater sin than having something once beloved and perfect and turning it lame when we first reviewed the third generation Honda Fit, it seemed like more of the same. It was less of a driver's car than the outgoing iteration, with a neutered suspension setup and numb steering in the name of comfort its other attributes, like in-car technology and clever packaging, helped make up the difference, but we couldn't help but feel let down with its 2018 refresh, however, Honda got some of its mojo back as with any mid-generation update, the fit received some styling changes chief among them is a redesigned face that exaggerates the fog lamp surrounds, redraws the central intake opening, and adds a shiny swath of chrome across the grille. The lower rear bumper has been reshaped and is now rounder and protruding Honda designer said they wanted to make the car look lower and wider, but to our eyes it really just looks busier the pre-facelift design was cohesive and cute, like a spunky little Star Wars droid now there's angles and curves that don't work with the rest of the body two new colors are offered, Helios Yellow and the unfortunately named Fury Orange, the latter of which appears to be the exclusive color used on the Japanese Fit RS Honda adds an all new trim level for 2018 dubbed Sport, slotting price wise between LX and E. There are no drivetrain upgrades, but it gets side skirts, a chrome exhaust tip, and a unique set of handsome black 16-inch wheels that are 1 inch larger in diameter that the base LXA jutting chin spoiler and rear diffuser are finished in black with a horizontal orange stripe that harkens back to the red bands that once adorned the bumpers of Civic S and CRXC models the interior remains largely unchanged, with supportive seats, a plush leather steering wheel, and a range of supple materials throughout that don't make you feel as if you're stuck in a plastic prison.